Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where Pinky is still like there's not even well there's one fish in there. Pinky must want that one fish. I reckon. That's why Pinky keeps doing that. So anyway, hopefully by now our trees will be full of nitre, which means I can make this gunpowder that I need. Ah, how long? Two whole hours. Right, okay, so for that two whole hours. I shall spend my time going to get some porcelain plates for for Lara's bra. <laughs> Lara's plate bra. Okay. The only thing I know that you have to use porcelain plates for in this whole game so far. But it's important to protect her modesty, even though it's on top of her dress. Yeah, I'm building two Lara models. That'd blow your mind, wouldn't it, Ak, if you knew there was two? But yes, there are two. So I'm going to take all my bits and bobs. All my bits and bobs to the museum. I'm getting better at taking whisper places as well. So we'll take that to the museum and we'll see uh, if we can get any prizes. I can't remember how many things we've already donated. But it's going to get a bit harder now because we're going to run out of things that we can easily make to donate there. Oh. Oh, it's nine o'clock now. Cool. That was good timing. So yeah, because I'm waiting for a couple of hours. I, I know I'm going to miss, miss the commission. Now, I think I want to put Lara down. Oh, Lara's a... Medium item? No, she's a small item. Okay, so she goes over here. Yes, Lara model. Next. No, we've already given the civil furnace. So it's a recycling machine. Lift controls. Uh, we already gave in an industrial furnace. Oh, I must have just picked that up for no apparent reason. Um... To get it out of the way or something. So the DD stop, that's my last. Oh, that's a medium. Okay. Okay, I'll go over here then. Oh, you can go you can go next to the water engine. Right, recycling machine. Do you count as a medium item? Yes you do. Lift controls. Oh, lift controls are small. Apparently, so that's the last small one, I guess. Donated. Beautiful. So we've got a large item. Apparently, that's the crane. People have already told me that, that, that the crane can be used for that. Um, so we'll make a crane. So I have one, two, three, four more medium items that I can make. So we've got to work out what those are. One will be the boom box. One will possibly be the loudspeaker, and uh, as I say, I'll be irritated if that's the case. Because it's like, I'm going to be left with one little space there. So, do we have any prizes, is the next question. We do. We've got our 20 item prize, which is a nice woolly hat. Which uh, probably isn't that useful, but oh well. And then we're going to have some sort of recipe next time. I'm not sure what for. And then a nice sofa and like banqueting table thingy once we get to 40. It's going to get a lot harder after this, I think. So I've got another seven items to do to get to uh, 30. So I could probably probably get a couple of pieces of art off my walls. Get some more artworks. I don't know where I got all the artworks from, but I've kept, I haven't sold any. So I've kept everything I've got so far out of chests and things like that around the place. So that's one thing I did forget to check actually was um, what art I had on my walls because I can just replace it with other other things, you know. So let's go do this commission now. I'll just ride Whisper back home. I know townsfolk, I have not spoken to you in ages. So social will be back on the menu pretty soon. Definitely will be. Luckily you don't lose social anymore. I think you used to, it used to degrade, but it doesn't anymore. People got annoyed. Right, so you stay there. And I'm gonna go.
go and have a look in my house at all the different artworks and then we'll have a look at making that gunpowder. At least we're doing a commission a day again now. So yeah, we got two of this windmill painting. Um, let's see if I can get that down off the wall. Probably should have taken the one that was actually like totally in a stupid place actually, shouldn't we? Should have taken that one down. Not that I can even get to it. There, we can take that one down too. And put that somewhere else. I've got my builder's license there. I honestly think it could go it could go here, couldn't it? Possibly. No? Apparently not. Apparently it's not allowed to go up there. Could it go up here? It's never gonna be quite right there, is it? It'd be nice there though. So put the clock somewhere else. So I'm not liking the wall lamps and stuff, but uh, apparently the carpets are bugged at the moment, so in, if anything, I need more wall lamps than ever. Uh, nightmare. But yeah, that's one more painting that can go in the museum. But I don't know where I'm going to get the other paintings. I really don't. Oh, you know what else someone said? I'm just going to do this quickly. Someone said that there's something that Alice um, sells that can go in the museum. So we'll, we'll find that, shall we? I think I remember seeing it as well. Looking through in the shop, but I didn't have the museum at the time. Yeah, like that love knot thing. It's a small item of artwork and can be placed in the museum. Nice. Anything else that can go in the museum? No. Yeah, that's two more things that can go in there. Hey, Pinky. I don't know why I ran out here. Why did I run here? I've got no idea why I ran here. In fact, I should look through all the shops and see if any of them have anything. Any like furniture or anything like that that can go in. I need to look around for any paintings. But so far I've only had three. So I've got four paintings out of the eight so far. I need Whisper. Whisper help. My running is so slow. You are my best pal. Thank you. Right. So I'm just going to go back to the museum, I think, and put those in before I forget that they're meant to be museum pieces. You know what I'm like. And then we'll make the gunpowder. And then by that time, I imagine that some more of my flooring will be done. help if I went to the right uh, building. I can see why Merlin needs, you know, to be able to go between the two buildings and it's nice that I can also do that as well. So after we've put these down, yes, and does the heart not go here or does it go, yep, yeah, can go there apparently. There's a small item, artworks. I kind of imagine that these are meant for paintings. So I think we've got probably another five paintings to find somewhere. I don't know where they're going to be. So we're on 25 now. We need another five things. One of them will be the crane. One of them will be the boom box. Um, then we'll be looking for relics, really. I kind of wonder if I should go mining for relics now. Now I think uh, I think we'll spend a bit more time on the the workshop. Get it all sorted as much as possible. I thought Whisper was with me. Whisper, did you get stuck somewhere? Probably. Whisper's supposed to be a teleporting horse. I'll just go back on the DD bus, it's cool. So yeah, I knew you were there somewhere. Go back home. Right, so... Let's see if this, uh, this gunpowder is... Uh, well, sorry, the nitre is done for the gunpowder. Yay, it is, finally, thank goodness. Oh, 
Oh, I'm liking this floor. I am liking this floor. It's nice. Okay, so craft me a... Oh, I need some sulfate as well. Okay, craft me some gunpowder. I need to check out that hat and see if it's better than any of the other hats I've got. I'm going to keep this hat on for now, though. Um, and then I'm going to keep a hat. My best hat for when I'm going fighting. So I need to change my hat before I go and fight the, like, the ruins boss or anything like that. But at the moment... Not much need for that, to be honest, other than making money. And I'm just determined to have my, my workshop the way I want it before the next big patch, which is going to be the end of April. So a couple of weeks, I would say, we're going to probably have another patch to, to look at, which will be awesome, by the way. I'm making so much conductive flooring. If I if I need these copper coils, uh, these copper wires for something, I'm going to be in trouble. Mind you, I think we can make copper wires now out of copper, so I just have to mine a load, and it'll be fine. So, 14 more I can make. Yay! We're down to 100. So I can finally fill in that little patch that's annoying me on the on the floor there. And they're still working on the hardwood planks. I've got another 10 each to make. That's fine. I need to turn. You need to slot in that little tiny slot there, please. If you will. There we go. Nice. Okay, can you go there? Now, if I can put these down underneath the boxes, that would be ideal, which I seem to be able to do, actually. Fantastic. Turn you around. Oh, oh wait. That seems good so far. And I need to take all those ones up. So let's do that now, I guess. Took me so long to place these as well. In just the right place. Okay, lovely stuff. And I'm going to have more fences to place as well. See, so yeah, I'm going to try and get the fences to kind of just... I'll probably just get them to kind of end around here. And they'll they'll have small gaps in, but that doesn't seem to look too bad, to be honest. So I've got another 15 pieces of flooring to put down. I'll try and get them in the right orientation as well. I don't know if you guys think this is a huge waste of resources, but I think it looks pretty. So if I have to do a little bit of extra work to make it look pretty, I don't care. And no, I did that the wrong way around. There's going to be some I will have to pick back up and put the right way around. I don't know if the odd one being the wrong way around gives it more character. I don't know. I think I want them all in the right in the right direction. All the grains going the same way. You could do it like a checkerboard pattern. But I think I want them going the same way. That is my style decision. Okay, I haven't got many left now. But this is slowly getting there. Very slowly. <laughs> It's just making all the hardwood planks for it, really, isn't it? And I'm going to have to get some more copper coils and stuff. Okay, so actually these uh, these boxes can move now, I would say. We can put them all in a big line just along here. Just so they're inside the the place. I may still move them again. I might move them twice. Hmm. 
Hmm. See, these metal boxes don't quite line up with the wooden ones. I wonder whether they'd look good up here. Okay, so I'm going to actually properly label this now. So I'm going to colour it yellow and call it... Um, oh, what did I call it? Mechanical parts, wasn't it? Confirm that, and then we're going to get everything back into it that's meant to be in it. And we'll just leave it there for now and see see what I want to do uh, once everything else is in. Unfortunately, these need to be moved so the fencing can be done, but I don't 100% know where I'm going to put them. So I kind of might end up putting them somewhere very different. Steel plates in there that probably shouldn't be in there, but never mind. That needs to be in there. Data discs and glass and copper cables and steel plates and all that sort of stuff. That all should have been in there from the start, but like I didn't have room for it. So all my plates and and uh, all my cables and stuff like that can probably go back in here now. Right, so that's nice. That's good. So we've got a wood chest over here still. That will probably need to move as well, but for now it can stay there while I'm busy sorting everything else out. And I still have an industrial furnace and a civil furnace that can be put down. The civil furnace I'll be using to, to replace the, um, the generator. I'm thinking I might actually flip this whole thing around. Hmm. If nothing else, then uh, just for a change. So I can put this fire powered generator. Oh, actually, no, let's put the furnaces down first. Got three industrial furnaces there. I'll just put two of them down for now, obviously. So I'm kind of thinking maybe if we start them around here. And put down the generator. I think that's the right way around for the generator. And then the next industrial furnace there. And then I might have a little gap and then have another set of the same. Um, it looks like I can't really have... Those uh, generators are quite big. So probably not going to be able to fit too many in, in, a large, in this space. I mean, I could fit another one like there. Or I could just put it sort of here so there's a bit more of a gap between... Another one there, and then another one along this wall. And then I could maybe have all the other machines and things down the end here. I'm thinking that might be quite good, actually. And then we've got enough room for just a few chests up the top here. Work table will probably be back down the bottom here again as well. But this is looking so much neater just from having the, the grass covered up. It's actually surprising. Okay, um, I am not sure whether I'll be able to hand this gunpowder commission in at the moment. <laughs> Oops. I'm being a bit bad with my commissions, aren't I, lately? Because I've been getting distracted with other things. Let's go to bed. And uh, we'll, we'll get back on it in the morning. So I'll try and hand this uh, commission in really quickly and then get another commission. And then we'll get back on to doing things with... They're still going. Cool. Alright, I'll sort out the commissions. Uh, Whisper can help me. You can help me find whoever I'm handing this into. Or it looks like they're right in front of us. So that's quite good. I 
Ah, it's from Remington today. It's always the Civil Corps that want gunpowder. I don't know what they're using it all for. I'm not going to ask. But it's good to get rep points with Remington and Sam and, uh, and Arlo sometimes. Okay, just wait a few minutes until this is open, the Commerce Guild is open, and then we can get another commission. Then, back to it with the, the yard. I know this is going to take, take quite a few episodes to get properly sorted out, but I really think it's going to be nice once we've done it. At least I hope so. Okay, let's see what we got. D, S, S, and S. Right, so necklaces, grinding saws, satchels. I'm gonna take grinding saws. Grinding saws is so much easier than anything else. I'm gonna make the grinding saws and then maybe we could do some relic hunting actually because we haven't done that in a while. So I'll top up the, the wood and then I'll have a look at making copper wires as well because I think we might run out of those eventually. We had a lot to start with and we've used about a hundred of them already. Yeah this is looking swanky. I love this little area. And yeah I know it's maybe a little bit of a waste of space actually it looks really really cool so I don't mind. Okay so next thing I need to do is to stock these guys up with more hardwood. I don't have any hardwood on me. Wow, that's unusual. I think you guys are right in saying, like, you're you're all saying, oh, you're so disorganized and, and you've got a really disorganized place. And it's because I want to be doing all the, the cool content that you guys want to see. But at the same time, I really do feel that the time I'm spending on this now is going to pay off in the future. It's going to make me feel so much nicer about the, the way the workshop looks and, and all that stuff. I am kind of thinking that I actually, as much as I've just grown all these trees, need to pull them all up, put the um, put this where the barn is, and then put the barn next to the where the chickens are, put the chickens where the fish tank is. Do you guys think that might be a good thing? I think that might be a good thing. But anyway, regardless, um, we need to get some more hardwood planks going. I'll do all of that later, it's fine. It just hurts my soul to keep pulling up these tree planters. But that's bigger than the barn, so yeah. Mm. I just feel it would be it would be better to have all my farmy stuff together and then have all my other stuff together. I would like to move this thing into here and also this workbench down here as well. I would like to put a generator between these two cutters. Um, the grinder and the blender could have their own generator, but I'll probably just keep them on power stones, honestly. And have the, the skyver probably on. Well, I might have two skyvers with a furnace between them as well, actually. I might go as far as that. But I'll probably do that afterwards. Cool. Anyway. Uh, how much is in my inventory? Do I have enough space for doing a mining trip? I believe I do. Got a full page, so. Let's go do this thing. Whisper. Right, now should we do Ruins 1 or Ruins 2, Whisper? You say ruins one until we've got all the ruins, all the relics from there, and then we'll try ru uh, ruins two. Okay. I don't have anything for you, Arlo. But we can al always have a chat. When searching the hazardous ruins, keep your wits. Remember, safety first. That's all right. So how far off being buddies with Arlo are we now? Because I really do want Arlo to be my buddy. Oh, really close. If I just keep chatting to him each time I see him, we should be okay. And then I can just start taking him out on days out and things like that. If I'm, fi if I'm finding that I'm particularly struggling with someone, that's what I'm going to do. 
Okay, well, we'll pop in. I'm not gonna... Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Have you 200 goals. I don't care. See if I care. I still haven't done my, um, my grinding swords, though. I just realised. Oops. I meant to do that first. So we might have to find poorly in the morning. So what are you? You, you look like you could be something. Hmm, definitely. Okay, let's go for it. Monument model, piece two. All right, I've not seen monuments before. One of four monument model pieces, part of the body. There's so many new relics. My goodness, they must have put tons in when they put the museum in. couple of things over there that could be anything. They could be like just power stones or something. But they could be something cool. They don't look like they're just chests or anything. They look like they're good stuff. But let's see what these are. I'm looking for pieces of the, uh, the thinking can. Ah, oh, it's a, just a power stone. Okay. What's this then? A weird glass jar piece one. Okay. I want to be actually finding like bits of relics that I can put together rather than like loads of bits of relics that I already have, but never mind. Sorry that I don't already well, that I already have or that are new ones. There's all sorts in here at the moment though. Goodness me. Let's go towards this. I figure like each day I'm wasting my stamina and old oh, thermos. That's another new one. Oh joy of joys. See that looks like a lens and a power stone, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, we have so many pieces of relics. I imagine that I'm gonna start to find um duplicates at some point and that's when I'm gonna probably have to use that like relic finding service or whatever it is that they're doing that looks like a duplicate piece of the galloping horse but unfortunately I'm too low down to grab it be better if I could be up the top Come on, let me out, please. Thank you. So I'm actually going to go from the top down for this one. So that'll be probably actually a lot easier. Finding loads of data discs, which is cool. Oh no, it's another weird, weird glass jar piece. How many did we get of those? Weird glass jar, piece one. I'm sure I had another piece of weird glass jar. I think that's one and two. I don't think they're both piece one, surely. They look really different. Okay, never mind. Let's keep searching. So let's have a quick look around, see what's nearby. There's something nearby there. Which looks interesting as well. Could be an old part, but it could be something more interesting. And there's something 22 meters away that looks an interesting shape as well. So we'll just go for those. Funny how mining is so much more interesting when you're like, actually, you know, that's right there and it's an old part. And that would be a lot easier from the top as well. That looks like it might be an engine though. Not that I mind getting engines. 
Not that I mind that at all. That, to me, looks like it's probably uh, an old part. Let's see what else we can see. Well, that looks interesting, but I think it's a piece I already have. I'll go down and get it anyway. Let's see if I can get it a bit more easily down in the cave I've dug. We need to go down 18 meters. I don't know if I'm going to have enough stamina for this, though. But like I say, if we just pop in here like every single day. Did I get it? No. Thinking gam piece three, I'm pretty sure I already have that piece. Something five meters away that I think is probably a lens, but could be. Oh, it's an old talker piece too. Oh, always worth checking these things then. Probably why I haven't found the old talker piece too before. I probably always thought it was a lens. Right, so we're out of stamina now, so let's get out of here. But I think we might be able to put the old talker together, which would be amazing. It's now 8 o'clock. I might have time. Paulie's doing um, some exercises there with Isaac, so I might just have time to put the saw blades together and the grinder blades, sorry and hand them in to him, but maybe not. If not, I'll just hand them in in the morning. So as far as I remember, it's iron, bloodstone, and resin. We don't have resin. All the bloodstone, we've got bloodstone in. I need to take that gem chest away because I keep wanting to use it. So uh, bloodstone, iron, Resin. Now, resin I think we might have to make. Out of tree sap. And I have my own relic assembler now, which is amazing. Um, Whisper, you, you can't graze on the wood here, sorry. It's not meant for horses to graze on. Just make like 10 resin there. Hopefully that'll be enough. And like I say, having um, everything within that the confines of this little area, having all of my chests for things and all that, it basically means I'm not going to have to be running from one side of the workshop to another all the time. It's all going to be confined within this little space here. So it'd be much more like when I used to have the the old workshop and it was really tiny and I didn't have to run around as much. Oh, we already did that. Should we see if Paulie is still there? He's probably gone home. Looks like everyone's come from a meeting or something. Just caught him. You like secret meetings without me. Yay, extra relationship points with Paulie is always good. Say hello to Ginger, because uh, honestly, I do need to keep working on Ginger if, if no one else. Well, we'll have a chat anyway. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to go and buy lemon juice or anything at the moment. Oh, no, I might be able to. No. 2200. I was just short of it. We'll buy some more lemon juice and keep it on us just in case we see Ginger because Ginger's going to be the hardest person to get to know. So everybody else I can just give them things that are worth like 30 points and stuff and it'll be fine but with Ginger it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay so we've got a bunch of wooden planks now so we can put some more flooring down. I'll be well happy when this is all done. Um, and then I'll probably need to go to Gust's place and buy some more fencing. I like this. I like this as an idea. 
Right, workshop. No, workbench, sorry. Workbench, I've got... I always forget it's furniture. It count it's flooring, it so it counts as furniture, apparently. Lighting and flooring count as furniture. Where's all my copper wire gone? Put that away, didn't I, somewhere? In my mechanical partsy chest over here. And I am still kind of working on getting the chest into the right place, and I may have to move them several times before I really work out where I want them. I'll have this all rearranged, and then they'll put some massive piece of something in that I, I that I massively need to rearrange the entire workshop for <sighs> you know it's gonna happen furniture furniture she lab furniture 16 more of them so we should have about another 30 we can put down which is gonna be amazing hmm. I got more somewhere I thought I had more than that no I didn't okay Fine. 16 is fine. Now then, I have to work out how far across I want this to go. I'm thinking I'll just stop here. Or I could just put it all the way along to the fencing at the edge. I mean, Ag doesn't seem to be getting stuck anymore. So there's nothing stopping me from making this whole area a massive great big area for workshop stuff I'll just get this corner filled in as much as I can the last 12 pieces I have I don't know if you guys think this is a, a bit of overkill on the amount, on the sheer amount of conductive flooring I'm putting down. I think I'm gonna thank myself later though. As I say, there's going to be a few pieces that I'm going to have to adjust later on because I'm too silly to put them in the right place to start with. Okay, we are definitely getting there now, so this is good. Um, so this wooden storage here, I'm going to... I don't have enough stamina to move my chest. It's oh, a nightmare. Oh well, let's go and see Ak. Say hello. I've at least done all of my social stuff, not my social stuff, all of my commission. We are looking so much neater here. I'm going to have to fit loads of stuff in this area. And hopefully it won't look too out of place. A couple of rows of these and then we'll have some storage down here. Maybe my like workbench and my um, assembly machine thing. I think that's going to look really smart. Probably another episode or two until it's finished. Just keep going with these uh, hardwood planks. And I was just going to check as well, wasn't I, how to make copper cables. I'm sure someone said that you can make them now. So... Mm, not here. Maybe on something like the grinder. Ah uh, yeah, copper wire. So each copper wire takes one copper bar. And we've got 359 copper bars. So that's perfect. That's absolutely fine. We don't need to worry too much about that. I could set 25 going, actually. I might want... Oh, and there we are. That's the end of the episode. <laughs> oh, I feel like we're getting so far with the workshop. And I feel like it's really important to do that. To have a nice looking workshop. Have it all sorted out and put in put in in the way I want and to, to I mean once I have it all down I might even play around with it and move some things around 
I'm not going to worry about moving the trees too much. Um, I'll just move them if I want to move them. It's kind of frustrating to have to move them, but it's like... Uh, I would just wish that they, that they wouldn't die when you take the planter box up. It just makes it so hard to rearrange everything. But, you know, I'm going to try and probably avoid doing that straight away. I'll probably get a whole load of... Um, of trees together, I'll get a whole load of nitre, a whole load of apricots, a big stash of them, and then I might move the trees just so that it's not interrupting anything else I'm doing. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please do leave me a thumbs up below. If you'd like to see more my time at Porsche, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.